Yeah. Uh, welcome to practicals under computer related engineering course. And today we'll do uh, the experiment number six, which is coupled thermal and structural analysis using FE. And this is the problem statement for uh, uh, coupled thermal and structural analysis. Uh, note down the important values. Let us jump back to the ANSYS workbench window. Yeah. Now here uh, select the steady state thermal first and drag and drop to the main window. Yeah. In the geometry section, right click to the geometry section and select design modeler option. Now it is opening. Yes. So here uh, let us check the units first. So now uh, all the units displayed are in mm. So uh, we'll change the units of this. Yes. So select the units and units are in millimeters. And again select XY plane. Right click to the XY plane and uh, click on the look at option. So that the plane will orient uh, towards us. Next under sketching select circle because the section of the total geometry is circular so create a circle and uh, give the input uh, diameter to be 75 mm so select dimensions circle select and then uh, give the diameter as a 75 mm okay now uh, go back to the modeling under modeling create uh, select the create option say extrude and under extrude uh, we have to select the cross section so under xy plane the cross section is present select it and say apply and for the depth uh, the depth is l1 that is the length of first section which is 250 mm so i am selecting it just wait yeah now it is currently 350 i am giving input as a 250 now the depth is in created now uh, select the extrude and say right click right click it and say generate okay now this is how the geometry is created now we have to move this plane drawing plane on this face so that we can draw a smaller cylinder we can create a smaller cylinder so to do that uh, select this option okay near to this xy plane there is a small option called as new plane so press it now uh, in this option we have to just select this transform uh, option and uh, the transform should be along the z axis so select z offset uh, z offset and uh, give value equal to 250 so that plane will shift from its base to uh, by a distance 250 and again select that plane and say uh, select it right click it and say generate now the plane has moved again on this plane we want to create a new sketch so just uh, 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 next to it there is option new sketch so select it and uh, uh, on this new sketch now uh, select this new sketch option that is sketch 2 right click it and say look at so that the plane will orient uh, zoom little bit okay and now create a sketching uh, go in the sketching tab select a circle okay and exactly in the center click uh, and create one more circle again in the dimension tab okay uh, select the circle uh, it will show some diameter currently it is 45 change it to 50 yes change it to 50 and again under modeling under uh, go to the create tab select extrude one more extrude again for this extrude select sketch 2 as an input then uh, for this geometry uh, give input as apply and for depth uh, it is 200 mm okay and now again select the extrude right click it and say generate okay and just reorient your geometry uh, the geometry is now ready okay uh, again file say close close design modeler 
again it will return back to the uh, original screen and now for model uh, again uh, double click in the model now it will open ansys mechanical okay uh, wait till it opens yes now it has opened now select this mesh option and uh, right click insert now we are going to give a one new mesh method to so select method here the, it is now saying to select the geometry so select this 3d geometry say apply and now in the mesh method currently it is automatic let us change it to sweep okay and now many options are open so here the algorithm uh, we have to change uh, now it is program control change it to axis symmetry because the figure is axis symmetric you can create the axis symmetric mesh and in the mesh uh, in center currently it is hexahedron okay you can change it to wedges but keep as it is right now now element order currently it is saying use global setting but i will change it to the linear right and this o-ring divisions currently they are four i am taking it to be 10 okay for few people it will not work then you reduce it to 5 or 3 okay now again select mesh and right click and say generate mesh it will create a good quality mesh wait uh, until it creates yeah now it has created very good quality mesh see how the mesh is now uh, i'm inserting the temperatures okay uh, as an input so click on the steady state thermal right click insert temperature okay on one phase the temperature is uh, uh, let us check the problem yes uh, they have not given the uh, temperatures we will take it them randomly so on this phase okay again it is uh, selecting whole body that means we have to change it, uh, change the filter to smart select. Yeah. Now on this phase, I am applying temperature equal to 100 degree centigrade. Okay. Again, insert one more temperature. Insert temperature. On another phase, yes, I am uh, I'm taking temperature equal to 300 degree centigrade. Okay. And uh, for solution, again, right click, insert thermal temperature because we want to see the temperatures how they are changing uh, now we, we we are ready with the setup just uh, click on right click on the solution say solve now the the uh, solution is happening yeah we are ready with the solution let us check the solution now click on the temperature and it will show some uh, red and blue color images okay you can animate this okay and uh, also we can take the uh, uh, screenshot of this now this is the half part let us go back to original uh, window now we are going to perform uh, the or we are going to give the inputs to the uh, static structural uh, the steady st thermal input to the static structural so again select static structural see how many options are it is uh, giving up to solution it is giving just uh, uh, or release the left button okay now here uh, in setup again say edit so it will uh, return back to uh, original window now here uh, for static structural I am going to uh, fix this phase and uh, I am going to apply compressive force on this phase so in static structural right click insert uh, fix support yes on the bottom I'm going to fix it so select it apply again in static structural insert select force on this phase I'm selecting yes and now change the force uh, from vector to the component and the component is Z axis so again Z and I'm giving input as a minus 1000 I am creating a compressive force okay and in solution right click deformation total and again uh, insert stress now here we have to select equivalent stress now solution right click on the solution and say solve now the